All right, pretty quick boot. Let's just go ahead and configure a controller really quick. This is a good sign. This means any controller you hook up, it's going to automatically detect it. Well, not any controller, but if you have a mass produced controller, some of these weird Chinese controllers need drivers, things like that. But I'm using the Logitech F710, Xbox 360, PS3, uh, you know, all the, the game, sir, all those are gonna work just fine. This is a 16 gigabyte image from Gabber 23 called the Terminator Pi. This is an emulation station based, and as you see, it's got cool little Terminator uh, backgrounds. You got Arcade, 558 games. You got Neo Geo, it's the same photo, but now it's kind of a gold, uh, 137. You got RetroPie setup, CP2, so I guess this is, yeah, CP1, CP2. So these are collections, these aren't, actually. these are the, not the actual systems. 16, Capcom, Capcom Play System, nine, Metal Slug Collection, Six, Shoot 'em Ups, 107, Street Fighter, five. Back to arcade. So this is a straight up arcade image. It looks like doesn't have video snaps. Just has the logos. Looks like it has all the favorite games, like the really popular CP2, CP1 here. Does not seem to have CP3, which is the Street Fighter Alpha threes. Got all the metal slugs, great games. Shoot 'em ups, you got the 1940s, you got the Aero Fighters, Battle Chopper. You got all the classics, all the really, really classical games. So this image is shaping up to be maybe like a really good image to give to a kid because they really can't get into too much trouble on it. You know, it doesn't look like there's any pornographic games on it. It's just straight up classic shoot 'em ups there. Street Fighter, we got Alpha 2, 3, EX2, Street Fighter 2, Street Fighter 2, Turbo. So it does not have Street Fighter 3 Alpha unless it's under Arcade. Let's go ahead and check that out really quick. So Arcade is like 500, so it's a little bit more to um, to get through. I'm not just going to be able to... It does have Snow Bros. So Street Fighter, yeah, it's has, it only has the ones that you saw in the collections. Uh, it does have Street Fighter 2 Turbo, the Gem Fighter. Looks like it has some sports games. It's got the Ninja Turtles. It's got Tekken 3, which I don't think runs. Tetris 2 Plus is one of the better Tetris games you can get on the Raspberry Pi. Punisher, The Simpsons, so the real Ghostbusters. So it looks like this This is like a no, this is like a um, the best of the best. Like all these titles are very, very, very popular that we're going through here. There's no Majul. There's no like of those puzzle games. I don't know about you guys, but I never play those games. But all the games I've been showing here are games that I would typically play, that are fun to play. Like World Rally, awesome. The WrestleMania is awesome. X-Men, awesome. Uh, tons of fun. Zookeeper, you got the Thousand Migla, great racing game. 1942's, Aliens. Um, so as you see, Bad Dudes. These are all like Battletoads. Like, these are all classics. These are like massive sellers. Games that had really large amounts of sales. Okay, I thought that might have been pornographic, but it's just elephants in the background. Uh, Captain America, Centipede. I think we got up to S, so let's just go up to S really quick, see what else. Darius, Defender. And uh, to get this all fit on 16 gigs, you can't, it's really hard to have video snaps too. Video snaps take up a lot of space, the previews. And as you can see, it still has that Terminator theme. Kind of creepy with the human-like teeth in the background. Gunbird, awesome games. Like I said, this is kind of the best of Hook, Indiana Jones, Joust, Joust 2. Like these are the classics. Killer Instinct 1 and 2, I don't know why these are on there. They're not going to load. This is, uh, Your hopes are going to die here. Just enjoy the screenshot. Will not run. Okay, we're almost back to S. Uh... Mega Man 1, 2, Marvel Super Heroes, Marvel vs. Capcom, Metal Slugs, Mortal Kombat 2, Dr. Mario, Narc, uh, you got Drift Out, Blitz, and NBA Jam, POW, a lot of really good games here, Popeye, you do have Primal Rage, which lags a little bit, Puzz Fighter, R-Type, Raidens, Rambo, Rampage, okay, I thought... So, so far it's a PG image as well, which is nice. Maybe PG-13, some of the blood, like a Mortal Kombat and stuff like that. 
But other than that, that's it. Um, I just want to show you Killer Instinct does not work. It does have a little custom loading screen like you just saw there. See, just backs right out. False hopes, guys. False hopes. Yep, didn't work. Uh, Primal Rage works, which is a cool little fighting game. Oh, I hit mode, I think. P. System initiation. All right, that's cool. It does have bezels as well. So you got a cool little main bezel. And it looks like uh, it does have shaders. Yes, it does. To kind of uh, insert coins to select. Here we go. Talon versus Vertigo. First blood. Rage. See, uh, this is a little laggy. It's pretty laggy. Really laggy. But this is just this game, no matter what Raspberry Pi you're on. Uh, you can play something like this, Pretty Soldier Sailor Moon. It's going to run just fine. Loading up the ROM. Once you get past this screen, you just want to insert some tokens, some coins. You got to get past the notice. Right trigger gets you into this menu here. You can change your inputs. You can quit the game, reset the game. All right. I'll be Sailor Moon. Let's go, girls. Let's kick some butt. Oh, whoops, I used my special ability already. Hey, oh. Who are these people? Whack. Kabuma. Take that. Take that. Got him. So there you go, Sailor Moon, and you can see the shaders has kind of got the CRT look on it that is pre that is pre done by default. So you can go through the it's on fade right now. See how there's a little bit of a fade. If you want, you can go ahead and uh, just go instant or slide. So it's a little faster. See how instant it just goes really fast. So you can get it to go faster. You just got to change it in the UI settings. Um, slide is kind of cool too. So this is Pixel. You have Sterling. Oh, you have Sterling installed. Carbon. I wonder. <laughs> Sterling's a newer, uh, a newer theme. So, you guys might have seen it before. Let's see how it runs on this. Cool. So let's go back. I think back is nope. That goes in. We don't want to go in. We want to go out. So the Punisher should work just fine. Yep, it works. I'm gonna exit out though. Okay. So this is tile. This is sterling. It's like little tiles. Kind of cool, right? It's a little buggy, but that's just might just be my pie. But anyways, we wanted pixel, which is the default, and then uh, we could do slide. Oh, I think it might also be because I'm sliding on pix on a. Uh, I might have to turn that off. Okay, so back to the original though. RetroPie, let's see what retro, what, which version we're on really quick. All right, 4.2.18, so fairly recent. Nice. Uh, CPS2, CPS1, so this is slide, much faster. You can go back, go to the main menu here. All Terminator theme, you can always install your own themes. Check out my videos on how to install your themes. Let's just do one Neo Geo game really quick, Arrow Fighters 2. This is pretty much an arcade 
only build All right, we're in. I'm taking the F1117. Well, I always use my... Might as well just use a special move, right? How it's done. Got the power. So this game, you cannot um, hold down the, um, the fire button. You get a nice little finger workout. How did I not kill that guy? All right, so you get it. That's it. So overall, I'm going to give this a thumbs up because of the 16 gig, you really can't ask for a lot. I mean, the fact that it's up to date, it's got really good collections, and it's kind of a best of. Like a lot of people, when they get into retro gaming, they're like, they want Street Fighter, they want the shoot 'em ups, they want Metal Slug. These are really popular games that you can find in a lot of pizzerias and a lot of common places. The other thing, as we talked about in a previous video, is arcades are hard to get a hold of. You know, it's easy to get a Nintendo or Super Nintendo or get some sort of emulator that plays those systems, but to get the arcade cabinet it's it's really hard to do that um, so for that reason it's really nice 16 gig small really cheap if what I might do is put an arcade stick on this this would be a perfect almost every game on here would be great with an arcade stick except like the verse Mario or something like that but all these other games would be great with an arcade stick so this is a cool little 16 gig with a cheap arcade stick kind of build I would I would say that's the perfect match with this image but let me know what you think don't forget to like subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and we'll see you guys on the next one.